so we now move on to part C so let's just move this up part C then now we have the lines L1 and L2 cross the line Y equals 1 at the points A and B now we've got to find the area of the triangle AP, ABP um, but to actually do this I feel I want to draw a little sketch so that I appreciate what the problem's about. So we'll put this over here, okay, I'll draw my y-axis and an x-axis, let's just put that down there say, okay. There's the origin and the lines L1, L2 cross the line y equals 1. We'll draw the line y equals 1 in, so let's just imagine then that say, let's say this is the line y equals 1. Okay, y equals 1. So it obviously crosses the y-axis at 1. Could even mark that in there if you like. Okay, 1. Now, if we've got these lines crossing y equals 1 at a and b, we've got to find a and b first of all. And in order to do that, okay, we know that the y coordinate of each of the lines when it passes here will be 1. So if I'm looking for the point A, let's just put this up here as a subtitle for A, okay, what I've got to do is sub y equals 1 into the equation of the line for L1, okay, so sub y equals 1 into um, L1, okay, let's just say L1, and you remember that was y equals 3x plus 2, so therefore I'm going to have for y it will be 1 equals 3x plus 2, and this will allow us then to figure out what the x coordinate bit would be by obviously taking 2 from both sides, so 1 take away 2 is negative 1 and that leaves us with 3x on the right hand side. Next I would divide both sides by the 3 and end up with x equals minus a third. So that's telling us that the coordinates of a are going to be negative a third, comma, and the y coordinate as we know was 1. Okay, so that's A. So let's just put that on the diagram up here. So I'm just going to assume that this point here, say, is negative a third, 1. So let's just put A to the side there, and that's negative a third, comma, 1. All right, we've done that. Now we've got to locate the coordinates of B. So again, I'm going to do something very similar. Okay, so for B, just give it a subtitle. And again, we know that the Y coordinate will be 1. So what I'm going to do is sub Y equals 1 into the equation for the line L2. Okay, and that line, if you remember, was 3X plus 2Y minus 8 equals 0. So therefore, what I'm going to have then is 3X plus 2 times y, but we know that y is 1, so that's going to be 2 times 1, and then minus the 8 equals 0. So therefore, tidying this up, we get 3x, and then we have 2 minus 8, which is minus 6, equals 0, and so therefore 3x is going to equal 6, and quite clearly, if we divide both sides by 3, we're going to therefore have x equals 2. So at this point, we therefore know that the coordinates of b are 2 across, 1 up, 2, 1. And I can mark this on my diagram. So I'm not going to draw this to scale. It's only just to get some kind of idea what's going on. So uh, obviously 2, 1 is going to be to the right here. Let's just imagine that this is the point B, comma, oops, sorry, B, 2, comma, 1. Alright? And where's P? 
Well, P we established earlier on had the coordinates. Let's just have a look. Let's scroll back. Okay, we see that P had the coordinates four ninths and ten thirds. So four ninths the way across, okay, and ten thirds up. Let's just pretend it's going to be here, say. So there's P at four ninths, comma, ten thirds. Okay. Ten thirds is three and a third, so obviously it's going to be above y equals one. Okay, so we're looking at this triangle. A, P, B. Let's just mark it in. We're going from A to P to B and back to A. Alright? Okay, so uh, let's just move that up a little and keep that on display. Okay, let's just move up a bit more. There we go. Let's just squeeze that in there. Okay. Now, what I'll do is I'll carry on just in here. So we just have a little line there. Okay, so we've got to find the area of the triangle ABP, and hopefully, you know that the area of a triangle is the base times the height divided by 2, or half base times height. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is say that the area of triangle ABP okay, is equal to half. Now, the base, the base obviously is going from A to B, and the length here would be the difference between the x coordinates, so we have 2 minus minus a third, which will end up being obviously 2 plus a third. And the height, that's this distance here, is going to be the difference between the y coordinates. So it would be 10 thirds minus the 1 here. So the height will be 10 thirds minus 1. Okay, let's just see what this gives. So we have the half multiplied by now 2 plus a third. 2 whole ones is 6 thirds plus another third, that's seven thirds. Then we multiply it by the height. And what have we got here? Ten thirds take away one whole one. That's one whole one is three thirds. So ten thirds take away three thirds is seven thirds. Okay. Working this out, we just simply have one times seven times seven. That's 49. All over... 2 times 3, which is 6, times another 3, 18. So the area of the triangle is 49 over 18. There's no units or dimensions like centimetres in this one. So because we're finding an area, um, I like to put uh, units squared on the end, just to denote that it's an area. So we have 49 eighteenths units squared as that area. OK, that brings us to the end of question 11 and to the end of the paper. So I uh, uh, hope you've understood uh, everything we've done uh, through the paper.